Hello, this is Manash Patel from EII Capital Group. Uh, today is June 20th, 2010, and we're going to be using Ichimoku to analyze the U.S. markets. Um, before we begin, this is a disclaimer. Uh, these presentations uh, pretty much are for educational purpose only. All charts are either in Think or Swim or Trade Station. Uh, most of the charts today will probably be in Trade Station. Uh, here are my contact details. If you go to eiicapital.com, um, you can go to the discussion board, post any questions or answers. Uh, sorry, any questions you may have in regards to videos, or any analysis that we're doing today. Also, there's wiki free videos and stuff like that out there too. So let's begin and go straight into the charts <coughs> as we do every week. Uh, first thing we're going to look at is the ES uh, S&P mini futures. If you look on the ES mini futures, we're going to zoom in. And you could see that we basically have touched the Tink Sink agents in on the weekly time frame. So we're right at a major res resistance level right now. In fact, we've kind of got above it a little right now. Um, but we're pretty much right out there. Uh, the key is the Chacal. They've still got some ability to move in the price. So really, you kind of want to see what happens right exactly when it gets up to here, uh, which is like the 1137.53. Uh, on the weekly time frame, uh, if it has that breaks that barrier, uh, then it's got a chance to go and retesting the highs over here, uh, pretty much right there at that level. Um, you probably can't see it. There we go. Um, but a lot of people are going to be looking here at 1137, especially since this kind of looks like a head and shoulder pattern. Uh, as you can see, the future cloud is basically very bullish. Uh, Chicago will get momentum as this goes higher. So on a weekly time frame, it is very bullish for the ES mini futures. Uh, let's go look at the daily time frame. <coughs> daily time frame, if you look at the daily time frame, let's shrink this down a little. You could see that this is now starting to set up for a bullish uh, trade. However, if you look at here, you, your future uh, Kumo Cloud is bearish. Also, your Chicago's in the Kumo Cloud and the Tinkinson Cajuns in is bearish. So, what we hopefully, I think, what's going to happen here is you're going to get a pullback somewhere to probably around this area right here. My guess is somewhere right there, there, or, or anywhere right here. Um, and you, once you get that pullback, what's going to happen is that future cloud will set up to be bearish, a bullet will set up to become bullish. And also the Chicago will possibly come out uh, a couple more days and then has a chance to break through here. Uh, so um, our guess is, is that this is probably going to set out probably by the end of this month and probably into July has a chance to start going out bullish and maybe go retest the high if it gets past this 1137 barrier. So this is going to be key what's going on. Uh, what may happen is it may come up to here, bounce off that, form a double uh, head and shoulder pattern on the weekly, get everyone faked out. A pullback will happen 50% to about this line here, and then it'll probably probably break out at the uh, beginning of July. Uh, so that's the ES mini futures. Uh, let's go look at the 120 minute time frame, and if you go look at the 120 minute time frame, let's just say here, you could see that basically this has been going up, uh, and it looks really really good and going up. So. Uh, and it's been going up for the last couple of days and really hasn't, if you look at it, poked its head out below the Cajun Sin, but really hasn't closed below the Cajun Sin at all. Uh, so this is a very good indicator. If this ever closes below the 120 minute time frame, then what could happen is on this big trend on the 120 minute time frame, you can enter a major pullback and then possibly go retest the high on this time frame. Uh, so the 120s is looking bullish. Uh, let's look at the 240 real fast. 240 same thing you could see once it broke out it's gone up and up and up so this looks really good and going up um, let's go look at NASDAQ since that has been leading in the past let's go look at the day the weekly time frame first and you can see the weekly also it basically has uh, actually this has gone above the Tinkinson too and the Cajun Sin, because the Tinkin Sin is actually not equal to the Cajun Sin on the weekly. So this is starting to look bullish too. Here, you could kind of see it's not below here. Uh, so this is looking really bullish on the daily, on the weekly time frame. Let's go look at the daily time frame now. Uh, 
And if you go look at the daily time frame, this now has poked its head out of the cloud. But if you notice, it's far away from both the Tinkets and the Encagents, and so we're expecting a pullback here. So in general, the summary is is that um, you know we kind of need a pullback before we start looking at any bullish position. Uh, as far as bearish is concerned, definitely wouldn't play these markets bearish right now until you get a clear sign of it breaking below the Cajuns in the gain or the Tinkinson. Uh, but right now we're looking for bullish plays, uh, but we got to see exactly what happens this week uh, in the next couple of days. Um, again, here's my contact details uh, over here. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know through the website or the form. And we'll go from there.